Hey everyone, it's Will, Gamer Dad, with another video for you. So in today's video, we're going to be taking on the true manifest fight for Garyu. And in this fight, I decided to try to show it two ways. Um, this one was a little bit challenging. It's also pretty fun, but you do have to uh, definitely uh, counter some of uh, the true manifest special kind of um, ability, so to speak. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. I also do have a Patreon account for those who want to support me this way. So in our first example, we're going to go out with an all-out water team. And if you're wondering why we have Pride, the reason why is that um, there is um, some counters at the HP stopper such that if you don't have Pride, I haven't found a way around it yet. Uh, and so I decided to go uh, with Pride to help tank some hits. Now note that I did not activate Indulgence during the one turn AF and I am obviously using um, Water Zone Grasta, High End locking in with RCF and of course Flam and Eva to blast through the HP stoppers. Now damage isn't an issue, it's mainly surviving actually that's more uh, a problem. So in this case, all we had to do is make sure that Pry can tank the hit and then Flam and Eva really just mop the floor after the AF. And so. Um, I would imagine the ES Radius would probably do the trick as well, um, but Pry is obviously free and everyone has access to him provided that you did the um, quest to get him as a 5 star. And for that, we do get rewarded with obviously 100 Chrono Stones and his true manifest which I'm looking forward to reviewing over the next few days. Um, if you're wondering, it did take me uh, about 45 minutes to kind of uh, figure out a viable strategy. At first I tried to do some, um, you know, full-on attack just like some of the older manifests and that did not work very well here. You can clearly see that at the first HP stopper he summons uh, a dragon and then the dragon also does attacks as well. And then at the second HP stopper it just counters with a, a super AoE and um, like I said haven't found a way to uh, be able to survive that without the likes of Pry. Here's my loadout. And I will also show some of the stats of the um, special spinal step that you can see there. Uh, someone was asking about that earlier, which does, I make I understand that makes sense in terms of seeing what is needed. In those cases, the crit damage up and some of the other int up does make a, dam uh, you know, make a difference when using this team. Otherwise, um, yeah, that was great. Nagi, of course, is here to carry the grass step for Flam. And Garyo just exists because we need him on the team. Now in our second example, instead of going with a uh, very powerful water team, we're going with the blunt team and we're going to use AS Molina's manifest as our DPS. Now you may be wondering, Will, why are we using this? I mean, is it really that optimal? Well, one good thing is that we are using Pry again in this example and since we know that indulgence will work, as long as we have the DPS to punch through um, each HP stopper, that will be all that's necessary. Of course, unfortunately, we don't have the luxury of having two uh, zone setters up front, which is Yifa and AS Mufa. However, um, with the right Grasta setups and um, obviously VC Grasta does help with the stats here for AS Molina, um, you will be able to do enough damage. So we do a two turn AF. Keep in mind, I am leaving five stacks of T God Majesty, so make sure you try to have maximum stacks because you need that extra damage to push through to the second HP stopper. And one thing you didn't see in the first example is note that if you don't lock in zone, he will, at the first HP stopper, summon um, not only the uh, dragon, he'll also establish fire zone, which we did counter with locked in another zone uh, from water zone. Now, that being said, Remember that Fire Zone re reduces uh, wind type attacks by 50%. Um, I believe it does not have any effect on our water attacks, and so we can still do some damage, albeit it's not as convenient because um, Fire Zone enhances his damage by 50%. And in this move, after HP, uh, the HP stopper, note that we activated the preemptive indulgence outside AF, and we actually used the Zephyr um, Yezera. And we did not use the DPS move, which is a Zephyr uh, Razim. And the reason why is I want to keep all three stacks up on AS Molina, such that after we hit the second HP stopper, the one shot with max stacks does extra hits, such that AS Molina can finish off the boss without any casualties. Now, in my previous attempts using this team as a second clear, if AS Mufa gets hit, 
uh, by the dragon, she will die because she doesn't have any innate fire resistance. If Pry, um, Melina, or Tsubami get hit, they tend to not die, so uh, a little bit of RNG required. Note that I also did put the uh, power of Mind Grasta on AS Melina to outspeed the dragon who has a decent amount of speed as well. Thanks for watching! We'll see you next time.